Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clarice here with That Darn Movie Show and today I thought I'd do something a little bit different because a few of you guys have been asking me to show off my Never Do collection so that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I feel like you're all gonna regret this within like 30 seconds but hey, let's give it a shot. That Darn Movie Show. So yeah, I tried to organize this all in some kind of vague order but really it's very difficult because this is the worst DVD collection, like, it's completely random and not that representative of my tastes. It's just all stuff that I either bought because I saw it on sale in a shop or why I was drunk on the internet. But yeah, let's get stuck in. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd start with these because if you've seen my Hunt for the World of People review, you'll have already heard me talk about all this and I feel like no one needs to hear about my insane love for Taika Waititi twice. So I've got like a bunch of classic comedies and also The Jerk, which is one of my favorites, just absolutely perfect to quote. He hates these cans! Also great to quote the Jump Street movies. Let's just finger each other's mouths. That's a great one to really spring on people. A few more kind of like modern comedies and also I am obsessed with these movies, the OSS 117 films, uh, the same director as the artist and starring Jean Dujardin, kind of like a, a Naked Gun style spy parody, but just very French. Also Heathers, just Heathers, how could I not include Heathers, just a perfect film. Uh, Francis Hart, which was very important to me when I was having my own little quarter life crisis, so this is a very special film to me. Uh, Ghost World and also They Came Together which is by the same people who did Wet Hot American Summer so just very silly and very good fun. Also I'm Still Here which is the Joaquin Phoenix hoax breakdown rap career mockumentary. I don't know how you describe this movie and I know it's divided a lot of people but it is genuinely maybe my favourite comedy of the last century. I just, no other film will make me cry with laughter the way I'm Still Here does. Just when he's like rapping in Edward James Olmos's face, it's just, it's... Um, a few more rom commy movies, 500 Days of Summer, Silver Lines Playbook, um, Benny and June, which is a very sweet movie with Johnny Depp, um... Lars and the Real Girl, which is maybe my favourite Ryan Gosling movie. I just think it's just such a sweet, sweet, like, warm film. I love me some historical films, so I've got, like, Vanity Fair with Reese Witherspoon, Portrait of a Lady with Nicole Kidman, Sofia Coppola's Marie Antoinette, uh, Quills, which has Joaquin Phoenix in it. I will just note now that Joaquin Phoenix will be a running theme throughout today. The Age of Innocence, which might actually be my favourite Martin Scorsese film. Don't hate me for that. Uh, also, Gla Gladiator. I mean, everyone has Gladiator, but surely. Uh, also, King Arthur, uh, the Clive Aaron one directed by Anton Fuqua, which is kind of a terrible movie, but I just really enjoy it. I don't know why. More classic movies. I've got Casablanca and Breakfast at Tiffany's, uh, Pillow Talk with Doris Day, which I think I actually have a review of on this channel, uh, Arsenic and Old Lace, which has Cary Grant in it, and it's just a really, really classic, classic comedy. Um, Billy Wilder's The Apartment is another one of my absolute favourite comedies. It's just got a little bit more of a, a soulful edge to it, so it's just really, it's really kind of beautiful. It's a beautiful movie. Some Marilyn Monroe movies. Cleopatra, which is kind of just an overlong film, but Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton are just on fire in this film. And they're even more on fire in this one, uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Just fabulous, fabulous acting in this. Uh, Jules Légime, which is my favourite French New Wave film, directed by François Truffaut. And it's about a very, very complicated menage a trois. And also Blue Velvet, which is actually the only David Lynch movie I currently own because I did have Mulholland Drive, but I watched it so many times that, like, the disc melted. I, I don't know either. More movies, more movies. Okay, Top Gun, the homoerotic masterpiece. Uh, Sin City 2, just because I really love Eva Green. Uh, to Die For, now this is one of my absolute favourite movies. It's directed by Gus Van Sant and it stars Nicole Kidman as this extremely manipulative weather reporter. And it's just, it's a very 
dark comedy and that's really dark comedies like Heather's are just my absolute jam. Cry Baby directed by John Waters, the artist. Um, Spring Breakers, look at all my shit. Uh, Bronson, which I know I raved about in my Neon Demon review and speaking of Tom Hardy, Mad Max Fury Road, just the greatest thing that Australia ever gave us. Uh, the Lego movie, just pure happiness. Ba 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 Stoker, which inspired my Pokemon Go username. And yeah, Nicole Kidman is another recurring theme in my collection. Uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, genuinely quite a bit in love with Brad Dourif in this movie. Coco Chanel and Igor Stravinsky, which is a great recommendation if you want to see Mads Mikkelsen in a very sexy moustache. Control, which I have seen like two or three times, but it is so heartbreakingly depressing. I don't know if I can ever bring myself to watch it again. Uh, Oz the Great and Powerful, which was given to me as a gift and I have not watched it yet. Brazil! Da -da 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 -da. I have two movies by Yorgos Lanthimos, which makes it insane that I have not seen The Lobster yet. Okay, very few horror movies, but I've got like The Shining, Pan's Labyrinth, uh, The Village, which I really hate the twist ending, but I think everything up to that point is just kind of really wonderfully atmospheric. The Others, and uh, I mean, <laughs> The Wicker Man. Yeah, I bought this as a joke, but now I've seen it like 10 times because it's an accidental comedic masterpiece. Okay, Disney movies, Frozen, gotta have it. Uh, my actual two favourite Disney movies are Hercules and also Lilo and Stitch, which I know are slightly strange choices, but what you gonna do? Um, other Disney stuff, Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know why I have the second and third one. The Muppets and Who Framed Roger Rabbit and also Alice in Wonderland. My favourite filmmaker growing up and still one of my favourite filmmakers is Tim Burton, so I've got like Beetlejuice and Big Fish and Nightmare Before Christmas, Ed with Scissorhands and Corpse Bride, Ed Wood, which I would recommend for people who are maybe a bit unsure of Tim Burton. This is the film that even non-Tim Burton fans love. And also Sleepy Hollow, which at one point in my life I watched like every other week. Just used to know every single line of dialogue. Probably still know every single line of dialogue. Obsessed. Okay, we're on to the last pile. We're so nearly done, guys. Okay, so I've got Jurassic Park uh, as a new Star Wars. I actually don't have the original Star Wars trilogy just because I feel like it's on TV so often. It's almost unnecessary. Uh, I haven't watched this yet. I really need to watch this. Uh, Girl Interrupted. Um, this movie is directed by Luc Besson, um, The Extraordinary Adventures of Adele Blancsec. It's just such a fun kind of adventure movie. Yeah, there's a there's a flying pterodactyl that destroys Paris. It's magical. Walk the Line and Black Swine. Uh, the Lost Boys, classic 80s movie. Richard Iowati's Submarine. I really need to get the double. I absolutely love the double. That's one of my favourite, like, Brit movies of the past few years. David Cronenberg's A Dangerous Method, which could just be renamed Young vs. Freud, colon, Dawn of Psychoanalysis. I've not really delved into the whole Steelbook collection world, but I do have two of them. So I've got The Voices, um, which is directed by Mbaljan Shatrapi. I do have a review of this one on my channel. And also Crimson Peak, just because I way preferred this cover art to the actual Blu-ray, so that's the main reason I bought that. Nine, which is truly, truly a drunk purchase. I don't know why I have this. Uh, Baz Luhrmann, Moulin Rouge, and Great Gatsby. Uh, also, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, The Master, and There Will Be Blood is around here somewhere. I have a few Coen Brothers movies, so I've got Fargo, and Oh Brother Art Thou, and Big Lebowski. But my favourite one is Inside Lewin Davis which is just kind of a, a quite nihilistic movie about what it feels like when you're left behind by the entire world and you refuse to accept that. Uh, also, I've got some Wes Anderson. This is, this is The Life Aquatic, even though it's in an old Blockbusters DVD case. Um, Rushmore, Grand Budapest and Moonrise Kingdom. I don't have the Royal Tenenbaums. I should get the Royal Tenenbaums. So also kind of a random Tarantino collection. And my favourite trilogies, 
We've got the Lord of the Rings extended edition, obviously. I will accept no substitutes. And also Indiana Jones. There we go. Blah. So there we go. As you will have noticed, it is quite a random collection of films. And I feel like I will need to redo this video once I have finally acquired a more cohesive representation of my tastes. Uh, but until then, I was thinking of doing kind of a new series, potentially individually going through some of these films and just some of my favourite films in general. So if there's anything that I mentioned you particularly want to see me do a full review of, just let me know down in the comments. But if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out and talk about movies. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!